So we're here in Uptown Whittier. It's a beautiful little little um some places they call it downtown i never understood why they call it uptown but i love it but it's a beautiful little area i love it uh like i said in the intro i lived here in whittier for a number of years and i absolutely love it out here it's a beautiful place and uh um here in uptown uh, they filmed quite a bit of masters of the universe um, the movie Master of the Universe here. Now, I didn't do any research, so I couldn't tell you exactly where in Uptown when it, it was, but this was in like 83, 80, 82. Yeah, I think it's more like 85, something like that. But uh, yeah, they filmed it right here in Uptown. I'll try to find some footage of it. If I can't, then forget me. But, but they did film it right here, and we're gonna go deeper into Uptown down that way. Here in a second. We're gonna cross the street right now. Look at this. It's a giant leaf. I'm assuming it's because of the street. It's called Green Leaf. But I don't know, but it's actually a sculpture. It's cool. The inscription on it here says it here from the tree Kevin box. June. 23 2011 I don't know what that means but it's pretty awesome it's pretty freaking cool I'm moving on so you used to be able to drive down this street but when the pandemic hit as us, a lot of us know they brought a lot of restaurants brought a lot of their seating outside and so they closed off portions of this road and it's and they decided to keep it this way. And I like it. Uh, I've eaten at this restaurant here. It's called Mimo's. I've had this place before and it's it's great. It's absolutely great. It's a place that my family and I used to come all the time. And it is great. Mm -hmm. yes. Love this place. And again, moving on. So we're looking at this building here. Check it out. This building is called Nixon Plaza. It was the Bank of America building at one point in time. But it is a historical landmark. And I do know that at one point that Richard Nixon had, if I'm correct, so please forgive me if I'm mistaken, but Richard Nixon had um, offices here in this building. But now I think there's a bunch of, maybe some apartments up top, but there are definitely, there is a brewery here, La Costa Fire. Is that what they say? La, Cro La, Co La Crosta. Crosta. Well, I read like crap. <laughs> Forgive me. But yeah, so, and then there's a clock up on the top, which is cool. This is a Whittier Village clock established in 1915, re relocated here in 1927, repaired for a city. Oh, the city repaired it in 1987. This is absolutely amazing. I love this building. This is one of my favorite buildings in Whittier. Because I just like the way it looks. It's an old building. Let's see if we get a look here. Beautiful building. And again, it's called the Nixon Plaza. Because at one point in time, Richard Nixon had some offices here. I don't know the full story, so I can't quote that story. But it is absolutely gorgeous. This is the Whittier Village Cinemas. I absolutely love this movie theater. I have not been in it for a while though, but I love it because it's like old school style. Uh, like 
the way cinemas used to be back in the day, like in small towns. Like, look, there's a, the old school box office here. Of course, they don't use it anymore, but it is still awesome. I absolutely love this. Look at this. This old school throwback. Let's see if we can get a better look from another angle. Absolutely gorgeous. And I love it. And actually, this whole section of the building is, I believe, probably a part of the oldest part of uptown right here because these buildings are clearly original. It hasn't been changed in, in any way. As far as I can see, they haven't been changed. They may have been painted or whatnot. But you can clearly see that it's it's older. It's not none of the newest versus like you see this side of the building of the street. And then you go on this side and you see these. You can clearly tell that those are a little bit more recent. Not recent to an extreme amount, but a little more recent. But uptown with it is it is absolutely gorgeous and I love it here. Absolutely love it here. Let's keep walking. I really wanted to show this church because it is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. I think this is like Spanish ar architecture. I'm not sure. I'm not an architect. But the church is called the St. Math Mathis? Math Math Mathis? Oh, I don't know how you say it, but it was established 1898. 1929 I guess I'm not sure if that's when it was established or when it was built but it is a gorgeous church look at the, the courtyard it is definitely a Spanish style church it is absolutely gorgeous so this says over here on this wall it says 1952 so I'm not 100% sure what the dates are on this but it's still a great great church and then look at these houses these victorian style houses and this is still in uptown whittier these houses are absolutely amazing can you imagine being here in the 1800s seeing these beautiful homes these beautiful homes are right across the street from this gorgeous church look at this can you just imagine being here 1800s Oh, well, let's even go back, go come up a little further, even the 1900s, you know, 1920s, 1930s, looking at this. This is absolutely amazing. And there's so many other beautiful homes here in, in Whittier as well. Whittier is absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's a place that I would love to get back to because I love to live in here. Okay, moving on. Here we are at Central Park. Yeah, they have a Central Park here. I guarantee it's not as big as the one in New York, but, but it's really nice. Look at the little bungalow. It's pretty cool. You know, back in the day, they would have bungalows like this where they would set up bands and yeah, I guess they would call them like bandstands and they would sit and play music and sing and do all that good stuff, right? In places like this. They don't do it much anymore. I know Disneyland has something like that where they do that, but that's Disneyland. Disneyland does everything. But here we are at Central Park. Absolutely gorgeous park. a beautiful place all right oh wait before we go let's look at this look at the lily pads <laughs> this is cool it's actually really cool i don't know what if there's any fish in there i doubt it but it's actually really cool but you know all i see all I see in here is mosquitoes. 
That's all I can think about is mosquitoes. Growing up in Texas, we knew better than to leave water standing like this. <laughs> That's what I would say. So all I see here is mosquitoes. I don't see any mosquitoes in there, but in my mind, that's what I see. The water's not flowing, so I'm assuming that the water would flow out of here. I'm assuming when they turn the water on, it will flow out of here, because as you can see, it has a little indention where water will come out. It's actually cool. It actually really looks pretty cool. Oh no, there's a bee struggling. I don't know if you can see it right in the middle, but he's struggling. He'll be all right. <laughs> all right, let's move on. Okay, look at this statue. Forgive me for not knowing who this guy is, but I have no clue who this guy is. But, oh, his name is John Greenleaf. Hold it here so you can kind of read it. So I guess these are all the people who donated for this park. Mm, but his name is John Greenleaf. And I'm assuming it's John Greenleaf Whittier. I'm not for sure, but what I've noticed that a lot of these placards really don't give you a lot of information to understand. And again, look behind us. Look at all these houses behind us. Every one of these houses are, are like Victorian style. So imagine living here in the middle of all of this with all these houses. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. all these houses and imagine these people walking around in their victorian garb hanging out here at the park the same way we're doing that house right there is amazing that is a beautiful home but it, it goes all the way around the park i absolutely love it i love it here i do all right mr greenleaf i'm out of here Zoom back out. No more zooming. All right, guy. Well, I don't want to look at his back all the time. These people might think I'm trying to record them. I don't really care. Get your smooch on. I don't care. <laughs> but there's my buddy again, Mr. Greenleaf. All right, bye. All right, Mr. Greenleaf. I'm going to chill out. I like the way he's sitting in that chair, though. It doesn't look very comfortable at all. Look like you're tired of that book too. What you reading over there? Better not be nothing inappropriate. All right, Mr. Gunn, I'll leave you to your book, sir. So we're gonna end the night here having dinner at Frisco's Car Hop video. Look at this place. Gorgeous. This is where we're having dinner tonight. Don't worry, I'm gonna eat as healthy as I can. <laughs> Absolutely cool. Celebrities. Ah, look at this. Absolutely cool. And Betty Boop, you want to call like over here? Absolutely gorgeous. Why do I say that all the time? I promise I'm gonna stop saying that. And here we are inside. Look at this. The car. Really cool. I wish I was a videographer. I can make it look a lot cooler than this, but this is actually really cool. It's really cool. Just wait till the food gets in. It's my number. And my soda. Don't worry, it's a close zero. Alright.
stay for the food. So here's my meal. Right on. Club sandwich. But I was so interested in tasting these chili cheese fries. I haven't had none in a long time, so this is what we're getting today. I didn't get a club sandwich and I got a Coke Zero. So I'm still trying to stick with this diet. <laughs> we're gonna get there. We're gonna get this in and see how this food tastes like. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for tonight. Uh, I ended it off here at Frisco Car Hop uh, here in Whittier, California. The food was pretty good. I gotta say, the food was pretty good. I had a um, club sandwich and some uh, chili cheese fries. No, it's not good for my diet, but I wanted some. They were they were pretty delicious. Uh, but the food is pretty good. The experience is pretty nice here. I mean, I'd say come and check it out, man. So anyway, we're gonna end the night here. It's time to go home, you guys. Have a good evening. Enjoy yourself. I'll see you on the next video.